Hi guys, it's Mr. Feely, and today uh, we're going to be doing a little photo trick to remove someone from a photo completely. Make them vanish like they weren't even there. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So let's go to our image editor that we use, so photopea.com. So normally in my previous lessons, what we've done is we've started a new project and then we would copy and paste a photo into it. Um, but there's actually a better way to do it that uh, would skip having to resize everything and get the photo in the canvas directly. So actually if you go to, let's go to our um, the search engine I use for images. So search, whoops, dot kids with a Z, kids search dot com. So we'll type in landscape. We'll go to images and copyright free. If you scroll down right here, this, this guy's sitting right by the water. We're going to pick him. So let us right click this image and we're going to Go down to not copy image, but copy image address. So the one right below copy image. I'm going to click that. Now we're going to go back to our photo editor. We're going to go to file and open more and then open from URL. We're going to paste in that uh, image address that we just copied. Paste that in and we're going to hit OK. And there you go, it's perfectly in there. You don't have to resize it. So what do I mean by uh, making someone vanish? Well, I'll show you. So let's zoom in on this guy right here. So we have our zoom tool. And remember, you can just, if you have the um, plus sign on for it, uh, every time you tap it, it's going to zoom in a little bit. And if you have the minus sign, it will zoom out. Um, but of course, what you can also do, remember um, in a previous lesson, you can just hold down on the magnifying glass and just while you're holding down on it, you can just kind of use your one of your fingers to scroll left and right and it will scroll in to where the magnifying glass is. So I'm going to zoom in and there's this really cool tool and whoop, let me find it here. Let me move this a little bit. So, oh, it's not under there. It must be Mr. Feely's got to find the tool. Here we go. So it's under your paintbrush. If you hold down your paintbrush, it will bring up this menu. And you'll see something called a clone tool. Go ahead and click that. And we are going to go up to our little carrot here. And we're going to pick the fuzzier brush. So the cool thing about the clone tool is that you can select a piece of your image and you can paint that piece over the thing you want to paint. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you hold down Alt, so the Alt key, it's um, Alter Option, that's, that's what it's called. Um, it should be in the bottom left of your keyboard. So go ahead and find that. So hold that down and you'll notice your brush turns into a little, you see a little cross. So if you go ahead and hold down Alt and then you click once. Okay, so now you'll see if I begin painting over it, so if I press click again and I just start dragging my brush, what it's doing is it's, it's duplicating uh, what the cross is going over. So you see the cross is to the right there it's actually duplicating everything that the cross is detecting. And so you can keep on selecting areas that are close to where this person is. So I might select right here and you can paint over. So what that does is it makes it look like they've vanished. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this mountain here and I'm gonna paint it over the rest of his head. So now here's the cool part. If I were to zoom out, looks like no one was ever there. 
Isn't that cool? So you can make people disappear by using that clone tool. And that is it for today. It's a bit of a shorter lesson, but it's a really cool trick that's pretty impressive. All right, so see you guys later.